Well, hi everybody, I'm Vicki, and welcome back to my kitchen. So glad to have you here. I just love exploring new cooking ideas, and tonight we're going to make, have an experiment. We are going to make banana Foster's Bites out of Pampered Chef's Caramel Latte Bread. Yes, we're starting out with the caramel latte bread. And we're going to go through this as quickly as possible and make some banana bite, banana Foster's Bites in the um, Brownie Bites pan. So here's how we're going to start. I'm putting the two eggs that the directions calls for in the mixer. And of course, most of you know this is our new stand mixer and I am turning it on mix. Okay, it's going to be a little noisy, so put up with me. I am putting one and a half bananas in with the mixture of eggs. It calls for a half a cup of oil, but I'm putting a quarter cup of our Georgia Olive Farms olive oil. I want it rich. And because I'm using bananas, I don't need to use but half the amount of oil. If you notice, it's started to get faster now. Now, bananas Foster's always has a little rum in it. And I have three teaspoons of rum. Our directions also calls for a, a half cup of water, but I took the three teaspoons out to compensate for the rum. So that's a half cup of water less the three teaspoons. So that's all of our wet ingredients together. And we're going to let that mix for just a second. We're going to go ahead and, and another thing Banana Foster's has in it, and this is a dry ingredient, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in now, is cinnamon. And I am putting a teaspoon of our Karinji cinnamon. And Karinji cinnamon, Pampered Chef's Karinji cinnamon, is a seasonal item. I always buy enough to last me through the year. It's wonderful. It is a nice, strong, full-bodied uh, cinnamon. Um, so I love keeping this in my cabinet. So next Christmas, if they have it, stock up on it. Okay, it's gone through the mix cycle. Okay. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn it on beat, and it's on two minutes. And it actually shows you the um, the um, utensil, the a beater, which one of the beaters you should use. So let's press it, and it'll start out slow so that it will not slosh the dry ingredients around. Smell this, the rum and the bananas and the caramel that's in the caramel latte. Now, the good thing about the sand mixer is I can walk away and get something while it's mixing. Wow. I love how easy this tilts with the push of a button. This smells so good. Now, if you notice, this particular beater 
has a scraper on the side so it scrapes the bowl as it goes around. We're just going to fill the brownie bites pan with our batter. We're going to put it in the oven and I'll come back and show you how I decorate it. Well, I'm back now and I've started working on the banana fosters bites. And if you look, you can see I have got the vanilla buttercream icing on them and the candied pecans with a twist. Remember I told you I put a little bit of rum in the candied pecans. Put a touch of rum in the vanilla uh, buttercream icing. And here, let's just see. I left the last four so I could show you what I do to make it easy. I don't use a piping bag. Um, I find that the easy cake decorator works great and fast. And this is just how quick it is. And get some of the candy pecans, stick them in the top. And tomorrow, just before serving these, I may drizzle a little bit of salted caramel on the top. Not sure yet, but come to Art and Soul and see what I do. I'll take a picture and show you. As I always tell you, give someone your beautiful smile today. You know, you just could make somebody's day and it makes you feel good inside. It's the greatest gift that you can give on each and every day. Come back and see me often and remember everything you've seen me using is Pampered Chef. There's always a link um, in the description. If you saw something you can't live without, which is a lot of stuff I can't live without. Um, and I don't have to, luckily. <laughs> but, like I said, come back and see me often. Share my, um, my videos if you like them or you know someone. This one, disclaimer, this one is not keto low carb. This is going to the store for an event. And it is full of sugar. But... Except for the candied pecans. In the candied pecans, you can find the, the video to that. It's probably my most watched video right now. Because um, I make those year round and use them for everything. So I'll take me a few of those so that I can munch on them. Alright. <laughs> we'll see you later. Thank you for coming to my kitchen. And bye! <laughs>